Thank you for joining me today. This is Influence. I got FT16M, which is the more metallic paint version of Fans Toys Galvatron. Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe. I appreciate the views. Influences interest on YouTube. That you see 360 as usual. Um, it's great. I love it. I finally got a proper Galvatron. I was using the open and play, which isn't a terrible figure for what it is. And I will compare the two later. However, we have the Matrix, uh, which is nice. His face sculpt is nice. Uh, just some things off the bat that I don't like. The knees can get kind of wonky. You can get them there. You can get them where you need them. But it, it is a weird joint and that could be user error or it could not be user error i don't know haven't watched any reviews on this guy because i knew i was eventually getting him and i don't like watching reviews uh on figures that i'm going to review because i don't i don't want to be biased anyway and yeah i think that's about it for initial thoughts i did watch the transformation from fans toys so that's that's how I transformed this guy. Their transformation is pretty good. There's a couple steps that I didn't. I don't know if I missed watching it. Because you know why you're transforming and watching at the same time. You got to rewind. <laughs> yes, I do it too. Because the directions sometimes aren't the greatest. I don't know if the directions are the greatest here. Because I didn't use them. So let's get started with this review. Jump right into accessories. First accessory you get is this matrix which is really nice nicely painted of course on par with fans toys paint and sculpt work and it's die cast and this is plastic probably or some type of i don't know what it is it but it looks like a jewel doesn't open or anything it does come with this chain it's pretty nice it fits around his neck but it's like a choker almost <laughs> but you can get it once you get it underneath like all of the head and everything it does look okay I don't like it that much because it rubs when you're moving around and you know i don't want to take no chances on the paint chest paint you get a clear not a clear <laughs> i was looking at the clear you get a solid and a clear i guess for whatever you your sensibilities are if you had the toy i always remember the clear because i did have galvatron as a kid one of, I remember the one Christmas, I believe in 87 or 86, when I got a bunch of Transformers, like I got Galvatron. I always talk about this. <laughs> I got Galvatron and uh, Ultra Magnus and I think Omega Supreme. Like, I was like, yeah, my dad was working some overtime that, uh, that Christmas. I always remember the clear version. So I like the clear version on him, but also you can see all the bits inside that I don't like. So... I did put this on him and I think I'm going to display the solid version, even though that's not how I remember. Now they both transform as they're, they will, and we'll show that later. They both have the same function. They look the same up here. And maybe this is a complaint and it's throughout the figure and I'll talk about it. The plastic, the doll plastic that they use for such a beautifully painted figure. I wish this would have been painted. Maybe, I don't know. I, I understand it's the proper color for G1. However, I, I, it's just like lackluster to paint. And it's throughout the figure, and I, I will show that. That's probably one of my biggest complaints. You have an extra face, which this is the face that actually came on him. It's just a regular stoic face. Galvatron was always crazy. So I got the like kind of gritting face, and that's just how I always seen him. He always... You know, it seemed like every panel he had a frown or a yelling or something. Doing something. You also get this monstrosity of a blast effect. So you can take this apart. All these pieces. So you can uh, mold it to where you want it. Uh, I don't think this. I don't know. I never tried. No, it looks molded. On. I don't know. But if this comes off, I can't get it off. However, you can get all these pieces off so it can be a little more manageable because with all those on, it's super heavy. I can't get him to hold it. His arm doesn't fall down, but he falls down. So in order to hold it, he would have to be on the stand. 
or in a peculiar uh, position, like with the little one, you do have to have this at the end. Then it'll go into the gun. And you can have a little more manageability. You see this mess. The gun, his cannon doesn't... I wish they would have made this longer or a better connection. It doesn't fall off like some people's fall off when you look at it. This doesn't do that, but it does. It will fall off. So there's that. I don't know if there's improvement over the original. And of course, you get the book and the card. And the box. So the box is just normal fan soys box. It's pretty thick because of it being layered because it comes with a flight stand and i didn't show that but and here's the flight stand and i don't know how to put together <laughs> i always get confused whether it's like this you can have it either way whichever way it looks better like this to me but however this doesn't support all of the weight all of the time so you just have to figure out how you're gonna display this how you're gonna have it so we'll, we'll talk about that a little later see his face sculpt i think it's great great face sculpt great sculpt all together it's galvatron i mean definitive to me put his cannon on there he is with it on and again let me put the blast effect and show you what i mean <laughs> See, already took a nose dive, and that's the that's pretty much it. And you can see his arm will hold it up. However, how it has on the packages, you know how he would that happens too. It it comes apart. It won't fall off the arm, but it'll come apart from the uh mechanism that, where it transforms. So yeah. So it's, it's just, it's, it's heavy and how they have it on in the instructions is, and this is wrong, <laughs> turn around like this. There's a in here that goes in the back and then this goes up under, up under his crotch area. So then you slide that back there and it goes on. It's not the best support. However, it's not bad either. His joints are super tight. And you can move it forward. You can lean him forward a little. It depends. Once you get him forward a certain amount, this will tip over. But how they have this on the package is for him to be using the thruster as a blaster like he he would. And you can see it's it's hard to it comes out you can get it i don't know how long it would stay but here you go with that so you see you you can get it set up and it's not touching it's ever so slightly off the ground so it's not touching but i don't know how long that that will last so take that with uh what you will like i said i think this is the better choice it's a lot lighter it's a lot more uh manageable as as it falls out <laughs> eh. i promise you guys now this is a complaint uh i'm not gonna overlook that but there you go. It's a lot more manageable. It's a lot. I think it looks more realistic. Like this is like blasting out of the cannon. Now we can talk about that when it turns into cannon mode. When I transform it in a few. Uh, we can talk about that. Now that is something that it can fit in and it does look proper. So yeah, I think this is more robot mode. And when he turns into cannon, blasting star screen. It's this. All right, so let's move it along. Let's bring in the open and play Galvatron. 
which I made, I don't know, I, I'm not going to do a comparison video because it's not, I don't think it's enough. Now this, I mean, this is the poor man's Galvatron, of course. Um, no offense, I'm not being, I'm not trying to be elitist or anything. It's just what it was. It was my Galvatron for the longest because I wanted something cheaper that looked uh, the part from afar. And that that's it. Like, if you want something cheap that looks the part, like I said, from afar, when you get up close, you start seeing some of the uh, things on it that you don't like. You can see their faces. Faces are quite different, but remind me of Galvatron, both. I mean, I think Fan Toys is just a lot better, but... All, and, and that's all the way around. And it should be. It's like 200 hours more <laughs> than it's. Maybe not that much, but it, it is. It's about 150 hours more. So, yeah. And this is just hollow and light. And you, you can hold it by the foot and move it around. So, if you want something that you ain't afraid of breaking, you, you want to. Like the name says, open and play. That's it. It's not as Galvatron. The Doombringer. I remember these guys. I still got them displayed. Uh, I haven't replaced them with any other Legends. I'm kind of out the Legends game. Kind of. Uh, kind of out to get Legends game. So I haven't replaced them with anybody else. With his boys. Of course. The Zex Trans Bots and Fans Toys Quietus, which is Cyclonus and Scourge, Scourge, Scourge. So there we are. Cyclonus is a little bit bigger, which I think he was a little bit taller than Galvatron. But I think this is great. This is great. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to replace him with Fans Toys. I say that now. You know, I buy every Fans Toys that comes out. So, I probably will buy it. However, I can say that's a great figure. That's the plus version. I guess the metallic, more metallic version. I kind of wish I had a more metallic version of him, but I do like the breakup. There we go with it. this comparison. So, let's get into articulation. Take his uh, thing off. See the head. The head goes 360 course he can look down about that much isn't bad about that much i think it's is it a ball joint no it's not really a ball joint it looks like a hinge so you don't get any side to side arms can go about that much out this does get on my nerves it falls out uh, i don't know again if it's what i did it's not in tight when i first got it it was but I often have to hold it like this in order to, cause this ratchet joint is so tight. Like it's crazy. And then you have the bicep swivel and you can move this in the back as you're swiveling the bicep. So it moves, so the treads move by itself. So you don't have to have it to the side if you're swiveling the bicep. That's cool. You got a double jointed elbow that gets you fully articulation. And ratchet joints all the way around that are super strong. They definitely can hold. You get the fist in about that much. And that's what you're using in the cannon mode, which I'll show that. You got fingers, fully articulated fingers on all the knuckles that a human would have. You have a waist that is kind of hindered by this. You can get this kind of out the way so you can get it all the way around. And I do like that it does that. It kind of moves. It still stays tabbed in, but it moves on its own. Even with this stuff tabbed together, it moves up and down on its own. Uh, that's cool. There's a... Um, I don't know if you can get the waist. I think you have to undo this stuff. So I think that you need to undo. 
on so you can so I could show that it can stay on. To untab this. And I think you may be able to let me see. I'm trying to figure out if you can still have this in and untabbed. Yeah, you can. So you can untab this, have that in. Did it tab back? No. Yeah. Shouldn't have tab back. It might just be tight because of. But with that untab, you can get a, a waist. You can get a waist bin. And you can still kind of have this stuff kind of in here. So you can use that waist bin. So that's cool. But there is a lot it is a lot of work. I don't really use waist bins that much, so I mean good for me. <laughs> but for people that use it, it is some work to get to. So you can get that. You got the independent skirts on the side, you got the skirts in the front. Independent skirts. And no skirts in the back. So you get his foot up about that much. The ratchet, however, is kind of loose and long in the tooth. So if you get this over, you can get it all the way up. But you can see it's not another ratchet there. So it falls down about here. And the knee also, the ratchet is kind of uh, lackluster. So that's about all you're going to get. You're not getting too much. And the knee fails a little bit, but it fails to that ratchet point because it's it's not uh, not the greatest ratchet. You have a swivel here at the top. Knee is double jointed, so you can get full run. And there's a little space in order for you to get the full run. It does leave something here, but you can always move this like this. So I like those knee covers for that. Plus it's accurate. And toe, toe goes all the way down. It doesn't really go up that much on either. But then you can get a swivel at the toe, at the actual toe. You can get the toe actually down and the whole foot staying up. Then you can get the rocker. The whole foot is a rocker and you can get the toe rocker. There's a rocker on the toe. So pretty good articulation there. The only thing that I wish it had was heel spurs or bigger heel, heel spurs because these are just sometimes it's not enough depending on what pose you have it in. And this has come out because probably what I was doing earlier with all the madness. That's it for articulation. Get into transformation. So transform this. I'm going to use this in cannon mode as well. I will show both. But just move that out. Sometimes you can't get this out. You can just move that a little bit and it pops it out. Flip it over. And there you go. You're ready to have it connected so let's get the fist into a fist so you want the thumb down like that so you can get all the fingers straight and you just want to square it off there we go do both sides like that just square it off because it's gonna have to fit in here that's basically what we're doing then you want to turn this all the way around until you have the screws pointing out. But then the fist you want to turn so you have this pointing out as well. Then you just bring this around and you scoop that in there like that. Flip this over and it kind of encapsulates that there like that. And Then you can turn this around so you don't have none of the stuff showing. Same thing over here. Super easy. You just spin this around, but you don't spin this whole thing. Like you, you leave that in the back. 
got it like that spin this around so this is up front pull this down here like that and then flip this in there there we go then you can spin this back around like that now you got this part here these are pegged into this thing so it kind of holds all this solid so you want to kind of unpeg this not kind of you want to unpeg this you can move it up like that unpeg this right here move it up pull this out it's pegged right in the to the back and pull that out see that long peg pegs there pull this piece down right here then kind of move this up yeah before before you can pull that out you need to pull this out Put that down here like that and then you got all this stuff in here now it makes it a little easier to get all this out of here and you can kind of I don't know if you can push it from the front. No, I don't, I don't think so. Just make sure you get this out. Move this piece like this, and then it'll kind of get this out like how you need it, and you can move that down. It does get caught up in here. This gets caught up in here, so you just want to move this up as much as you can. Now I move these arms up and get these things out. I may not be doing this in the proper order, but it's the order that you can do it in. Like it's not like gonna impede anything. So you get that. Now you have all this stuff. And now what you do with the arms is they slide down. It is hard the first time. So Ugh, man that gets hard to get out of there like that and then you slide this down as it's sliding down this moves too and it's supposed to tab in there i think i got it so again with this one you want to move this down because you don't want to move this down without moving this so it does get a little difficult Cause it is tight as you would want it to be there we go now you can start moving this down as you move this down and kind of tabs in down there or should tab in down there more now you have this kind of move this around here Push this up so you can get it through the back and you can see getting it through there like that you can get this waist out of here like this and move it back like that I move this like this and out move this up and this kind of goes around here like that. Then you can move this down more properly. Like that. And these go down all the way. You got a tab in here. If you got all this right, it'll work. If you don't, it won't. So let's do this side. There we go. Over here, you want to do this. There we go. It kind of like goes down and under. I can move this 360 or 180, I should say. Then move this so it on sides with this up here. Put that in there like that. This doesn't need to fold down yet.
spin this top part around so it's pointing the hole will be in the back it's pointing that way this pegs into there like it's kind of intuitive leave this part all together and just turn this around like this And then once you turn this around, then you move this up here and it pegs back down like this. You gotta get it uh, right. And this gotta be in the center as well. Kind of peg this down. There we go. This you wanna fold up but then fold it down because it's going to peg into the, this space right here of course it's again intuitive and you push this up here and you kind of got the front done uh you can move these down like this move these down here kind of like that You can see it coming together somewhat. Now for these legs. You move these up here like that. Move these up here like that. I kind of move this piece just with my hand out the way. You want to move this like that, move this up like that, and then you can pull this open. This you can move around like that. Then you want to slide this piece down on this bar right here. Then move it all the way out. Now this can get difficult because you want to move this on this this part of the knee joint so what i do is i first move it like i'm moving the knee but not all the way back because then it is scraped right here so then you can move it up it still scrapes it's it's a hard thing to do because once you move it up it's hard to move that joint because that joint is so and the shins this like kind of scares me because of the shins these parts are flimsy. They don't seem uh, connected terribly, but they could be. So what you're doing is you're moving this piece down. It'll peg in there. Uh, that peg right there, peg in there, and then the leg. But you don't want to move it on the upper joint. You just want to move this. You guys kind of get the leverage to do it. There you go. Without breaking anything. Like once you get some type of leverage, then you can get it what, where you need to get it. Make sure this is out so it goes up, right? Good. So now you move this up like this. I think we're good right there. Uh, move this like this. you can move this out here and this goes up here you can move all this out and it kind of just sits like that with that gap there it doesn't look right but it is right so you can move that back up and move that down getting over here move this up Kind of get this out the way somewhat move this over here like that spin this around so it's down pull this down here 
that one slid easier move that all the way out you can also move this stuff out if you need to um and the same thing i think this leg i can't remember but i think this leg is a little easier yeah there we go yeah this leg is a little easier the other one is super tight which usually happens that's usually how it goes then you can move it on that secondary knee And you just flip it back. Move that down like that so it can get over. Flip this up here. And now it's kind of the tricky part because you have to encase all of this. Oh, move this up. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Move that up there. Move that down there. So what I was talking about is you have to encase all of this. So now... You have to try to get this up here and then move this up here. Now, this is going to peg in right there and then peg in to all of everything. <laughs> you can see there's a little indentation right here for this. And this can get a little bit difficult. And there's tabs. There's a tab on here right there and on this side to go in to the leg. You just push the leg all together. Make sure down here this is together. All of this. Then this goes in there. And then you have a notch there that goes around these two on each side and you gotta kinda put it around it and then put it in there and that's kinda what it does you can move this down here like this and then move these down they kind of cover up all of this. It doesn't peg anywhere. Uh, I'm always confused with this part. I think you got to move it like this. And then move it in here. So it kind of covers up that. Again, it, it moves in a circle. So you move it and have it kind of cover up that part. And again, this goes down and covers up all of this. I don't think it, I don't know if it tabs into the side. It doesn't look like it does, but it might. What? Oh, flip these up. I forgot. Flip these up. It's like gives the spaces for the knees to move. And then you can uh peg all this in here like this there we go peg that in there get this squeezed back together and of course stuff ain't sitting right again because i had to make that last minute adjustment i'm sure this is probably the worst uh <laughs> transformation help there you go i move this up here to get that down there more it looks like there might be a little there is a little hole there i don't know what i was thinking before i didn't have it clicked in before um this one isn't going in as well maybe i have it wrong but anyway then last little touches pull that out pull this out and this can be adjusted however you want it you know you can have it like this if you want it straight you can have it down like this you have this
adjust it how you need it you know what he looks like and these aren't the greatest then you can add the cannon there's only one way there's a notch and there's a notch at the top so you can always know and here you go here is galvatron in gun mode and i don't really like the gun mode that much i had dx9's galvatron a long time ago and i sold I actually sold it because i was getting this and then i didn't i missed it and uh, didn't get it however i think dx9's is way better in gun mode than this but i'm not going to have him in gun mode so you have that and then you can put the clear one in if that's what you're into into the clear i think i like i still like the solid even though i remember the clear i still like the solid and again like i said you can adjust this if you need to to have it more upright i always remember him like this now this isn't the greatest right here because you're using his arm, his hand movements. You can also see his hand. So, I mean, you can get it. You can get it if you put it back farther or whatever. It is loosey goosey right here. In the, uh, not the ball joint, the ratchet joint. Like you can see, I, I kind of want him like this. Now you can get a ratchet, but then it's straight up. So, and it just falls back down. But yeah, that's Galvatron. And like I said, this is better suited for this because it does not uh, falter. <laughs> it, the weight doesn't matter. I mean, it does look a little crooked. You can kind of adjust it. And there you go. Not much in articulation. I think I already showed much of the articulation in gun mode. Like all this stuff. This stuff moves. This stuff moves uh, in and out. Um, it moves like this. This thing moves. I guess you can move it into this to make it kind of a gun. Let's see. Yeah, you can move it like that and kind of have it in gun mode. You can move the arms back if you want. I can't remember what it looked like as a gun when. I think it was an official mode. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. I don't know if it's fan if it was fan made or what. But yeah, that's it. So let's go back to robot mode as I do. And this should be, it's not hard. It's not a hard transformation. It's actually pretty intuitive. Once you get all this stuff up here done, um, the legs are super intuitive, but you just got to figure out like all of the, I couldn't tell what they were doing. And then I see the notches and you see the little, if you got it right, you see where it goes and all of that. So it just split it apart. Get this out here like this, out here like that. I pull this out, pull this out so it's easier to work with the legs. And this one's this one's in there because I, I pegged it in. Whew. Now you can kind of move this up. Move that back down like that. Get this apart, move this down out of the way legs are super straightforward push that back down move this out move that down and then just pull the legs out like i said this one is crazy but going back is not as bad because you can get some leverage on it you flip these down right here they got a little peg 
Let's move them up. I move this up like this. Push this back here. No, it's already already up. Move this slide that up because then it fits into that little space, which I think is smart. You can flip the toes out now. If you can't get them out, you can just get them out like that. And flip this back over. Pegs in right there. And kind of fold it. It folds over. Pegs in right there. And flip this down. Peg that in. Then you can move this. This doesn't peg in the greatest because it's not really a peg. It's just a little, little forks and stuff right there that so i don't know it's, it's all right but i don't know if i like that mechanism right there Pull the toes out straighten up the legs there you go one leg done in over here kind of move these arms out move this up let's do it quick move that up put that down quick without breaking it <laughs> Make sure you don't forget this like me in the back. Put that up there. Slide this up. Move this around. Down there. Fold this like this. Tab that in. Tab that in. And tab that in. Now I get the foot out. I do it like that. It's not hard. But sometimes you might have trouble. So let me do it the other way. And there he go. This down. I pull this out of here. You worry about the arms. Just as the order. Like worry about the arms last. So. Pull this out. Pull this up. Out of there. Pull this around. It's going to go like this when it's in the end, but move this around here and then can just put that on. Uh, there we go. That on there. Now you want to work on this stuff back here. Pull this out. Pull this out. This gets kind of hard because, like I said, it was down and under. So now you have to try to get it out. But, you know, you can pull this down, flip this around. 180. Flip this around and just leave it like that. I don't know if you can get underneath it or not. I'm not sure. Not going to work. So you can get under there. Yeah, there you go. Get under there. But it, yeah, you just got to get this part up a little tiny bit before you can flip it around and do anything with it. I'll pull this up. Then you can start to move all of this like this. I'll just leave this like this. Uh, I'm not sure which way it should go, but it helps with moving this in the back. So as you're moving it, you see his head's coming up and it's kind of situated. You move this like that. Now, you separate this and this piece kind of falls down because it creates space for this you can move this keep this up like that and create the space now here you can see like how you have to have it kind of uh not enough space in there so you have to kind of have it like this create that space to push this up in there 
and move it at the same time. So, and there you go. If this is straight, it'll go in. Of course, it's not. There we go. Sheesh. Just flip this back up. Flip this up here. Peg this in. As long as it's straight. Peg that in there like that. And there you go. Have that. And you can flip this back up. Peg that on. Now you kind of, I guess you can take care of this. When you move this up here, you can move this back if you want. And then move this down and peg this in on the sides. So peg there that it goes in like that and on this side as well. Kind of keeps all that from going anywhere, walling out. Now you want to bring these arms up and they go all the way up. And then you move this around here and this goes up in here like this. And that's tight. Same thing here. There we go. And move this up. Then you move this around to fill in this hole right here. Make it count. There we go. This does come out. I, I don't like that. I'm not sure if it's designed or if it's me. However, it does come out. So then you just flip this and just get the arms together. Flip that out there like that. You can push this all the way down. Then you can kind of situate the arm how you need it. Turn that that way and then turn this this way so the elbow is pointing forward. And you can turn the fist and then just collapse this on the back of the arm. Home stretch. I always hold this. Like I said in the articulation, it just it comes out. I don't know why I don't I need always need a thing for this one this side Move that all the way out out just that way and then this this way fist and push this all the way up and here we are back in robot mode what's going on here sometimes that knee is a little weird last but not least you want to change this and put that on here like that all right, so thanks for joining me for this review. I know, as usual, I am late on this figure, but still, I hope it brought some value to you. And I appreciate you joining me, especially if you made it all the way through here, because I don't take it lightly. Now, I have some videos coming up. Uh, I don't... You know, a few end of the year videos that I normally do will be coming. And I'm not sure. Hopefully, Jazz will be here soon. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on with shipping. I guess because it's Christmas. It's the holidays. It's just shipping, period. But we'll see if that will be the last Transformers review of the year. I'm not sure. But again, everybody have a good day. Good holiday if you celebrate. If not, have a good uh, day. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I'll get up with you in another one. Ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no.
life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.